Moving on to number seven, search and filter. Search and filter are part of the new connected user experience. You can search for tools, commands, and help topics throughout all of the MicroStation Connect edition. You can filter lists, like levels. We can search dialogues, like the configuration variable dialog. So if you need to find that seed variable, just type in part of it. Let's now take a look at search and filter in the MicroStation Connect edition. And to reference the other guys, search is simply help. Then you have to drill in and then find a particular tool in AutoCAD. It does open the menu and points to the tool, but it takes many more clicks, five or six clicks in fact, and it just searches help as opposed to commands and help. Now, in MicroStation Connect Edition, the ribbon search searches for tools or dialogues across multiple workflows and ribbon tabs. Here I need to complete my sheet by adding one last elevation to the detail sheet. I need to place a front elevation. I'll jump back in the model and rotate this to a top view. Now I have to place an elevation, but it's a tool that I don't use all the time, so I don't actually remember exactly where it is in the interface. I've looked around a little bit. The tool's official name is Place Elevation Callout, but I actually just call it the Elevation Tool. To search, I'll enter the partial or full name, and I'll get a list of results categorized by the ribbon, the backstage, and the quick access toolbar. I'll begin by typing ELEV, and that of course yields two results. I need to place the elevation callout, not to set an actual element's elevation. Observe the location of the tool. I'll hover my cursor over place elevation callout in the search results. The details of the tool will expand, showing the access points for the tool within the ribbon. I can go to the ribbon that's needed, or I can just select the icon to run the tool directly from here. So while I'm here, let me show you another great productivity enhancement in the MicroStation Connect Edition, drawing composition or dynamic views. I'll finish what I started and I'll place that elevation. I'll pick the tool, simply set the drawing seed, the height from the model, a place where I want my elevation call out, And if I'm happy with the settings, I'll pick OK. And you can see with just a few clicks, I'm able to add an elevation to an existing drawing into a location, a particular location on my sheet. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.